Hello everybody, my name is Megan, if you're new to my channel, welcome to and welcome back. If you cannot tell by the title of today's video, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, I think, doing a monthly Shop My Stash. So today is May 27th, May 27th, so this will be my Shop My Stash for the month of June. Um, and yeah, I figure I do have a lot of Project Pan items that I'm working on. Um, so I don't necessarily have something for every category that I'm going to shop, but I think I have something for most of them. Um, so I guess I will start off by just showing you what I have for like, going for my Project Pan stuff that's going to stay in my rotation. Um, and then I guess I will show you guys kind of going through my drawers what I'm going to pull in next. Uh, so I guess this is a little bit of a spoiler if you are watching my Project Pan series because I think my update for like the end of May goes up next week. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've got going on. Okay, so this is my Allie Glines bag, and in here, one second, there we go. I have um, a finishing spray as well as a setting spray. I have a sunscreen that I use all the time. Uh, I have two primers, and it's not quite, I also have a pen. The pen's not gonna stay, there we go. Um, I have my Anastasia uh, contour stick my current oh my goodness brow pencil hello as well as brow um gel i have the mascara i'm working on i have a lip gloss i have my mac painterly paint pot i have my um hello color pop super shock oh it's upside down that would explain a lot uh the color pop super shock cheek blush as well as my um too faced milk chocolate soleil so that is what I have currently going on in here, and let's go ahead and run through the rest of my makeup. Okay, so this is my like base product drawer. I have like primers, um, sorry, primers, concealer, powder, setting sprays are back here, and then this is like foundations and whatnot. Um, I do have two primers already in, but I'm also gonna pull in this little Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's, what's it called? It's like the Flawless Filter little trial size. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in um, just because I do want to use it. And then for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and pull in my stretch in G12. I do love that. It's a much like lighter concealer, lighter coverage. Um, but I think for like another concealer, I'm going to go ahead and pull in my ah, um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Porcelain. No, just kidding. It's in the shade Ferris. Why do I keep saying porcelain every time I talk about this? We're gonna go ahead and pull that in. Actually, you know what? I mean, obviously, if I want to use this specifically, I can come in and reach for it, but I am gonna try to focus on using this. Um, and then for powders, I think I'll pull in my Laura Mercier. And then if I want to wear like a foundation or skin tint, I'll pull from there. And then obviously, uh, I'm covered on the setting sprays right now. So next, we're gonna go ahead and do my... Um, like blush bronzer contour highlight drawer i don't have any highlighters currently in so i'm gonna go ahead and pull let's pull in my nude sticks this is a 99 percent angel this is usually a little bit too dark but although i am still very very pale you'd never know i'm like two shades darker than i normally am so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try and then back here i think i'm gonna pull in let's pull in moonstone from becca um, and that way I just have two highlight options. Um, do I actually want to pull in a third highlight just for funsies? Yeah, you know what? I'm also going to pull in... Let's do Lunch Money from ColourPop. So there are those. Um, in addition to my ColourPop blush, I'm also going to go ahead and pull in a powder blush. And I think I want to use... You know what, let's use my Cindy Luminizer. So I'll go ahead and pull that. And then I guess let's also go ahead and pull the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. Um, just because I really still haven't gotten too much use out of that. So I think that'll be it for this drawer. And obviously, like, if I'm in the mood to, like, use something specific, like, I'll go ahead and reach in and, like, pull it. Um, but these are going to be the products that I'm focusing most of my attention on. Okay, and here I have my mascaras. I've honestly been kind of going back and forth between the two of these. Um, I do have a mascara in my Project Pam, but I use that one primarily on my lower lashes. Um, I really like Bad Gal Bang, but I find that it transfers a lot, so if I need it to be like waterproof or like last for a while, I'll usually reach for the milk one. Um, so I guess I'll pull both of them in. 
just because those are the ones that I've been leaning towards the most. Um, and then I'm also going to pull in, let's do this L'Oreal Infallible um, Pressed Pigment. And this one is in the shade Iced Latte. So I'll go ahead and use that as well this month. So this is my lip product drawer. And I have been wearing lip products more often than I thought I would uh, lately. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in a lip liner as well as a lipstick. And I'm going to pull this uh, NYX liquid, or why am I saying liquid? It's a lip liner. Um, the suede matte lip liner. This one's in the shade Sandstorm. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that as well as... Let's use my Glossier um, Generation G lipstick in the shade Leo. Uh, they do have a very similar like undertone, and I do think that they look good paired together. And then I already have a lip gloss in my Project Pan, so I'm probably not going to pull in another one. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to stick with for lipstick this month. Okay, so I was going to pick out a palette for this month, but I decided that as I was like opening them up and like looking at them and swatching them, I don't really want to limit myself to one palette. So I am thinking about doing like a one month or one palette, one month, one palette sort of a thing down the line, but probably not starting that now. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Um, but I did decide to go ahead and pull in MAC, um, two MAC single shadows. This one is in the shade Charcoal Brown. And then this one is in the shade Wedge. So that is that. This is everything that I am pulling in for this month and let me see if I can get you guys a good enough angle to kind of organize the bag. All right, well, so much for organizing it. Um, I just kind of threw it all in there, obviously, as you saw. But that is going to be everything that I'm going to use this month. So check in next month to see what we take out, what we replace, what we replace it with. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up down below. Left a comment if you felt inclined to do so. If you want to see more of me in the future, I'm not sure I would, but hey, to each other, I'm not going to judge you. Go ahead and subscribe down below as well. And without further ado, I will see you in my next one. So have a great rest of your day and night, wherever you are. And I already said it, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.